Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new here. My name is Reagan. So I do all things clean beauty on this channel. If you are into that, subscribe down below. And today we have a couple of things to talk about. So first I want to talk about Black Friday sales. I always do like a really big sales article and I'm going to have it started by the time this video goes up because a lot of sales have started early this year. Like Aaliyah is doing 20% off over starting today when I'm filming this, which is the 10th and I believe it's through the 14th or the 15th. Um, May Lindstrom's also doing a promotion right now. Who else did I see? There was just some other sales that have already started. So it started really early this year. And I wanted to speak on this. So I think that a lot of people are saying it's supply chain. I think it's partially supply chain issues, but just the reality of it is that everything's created that's going to be created for holiday 2021, like it just is. Um, but I think another issue is mail is very, very slow. Like we ordered our Christmas pajama pants for our family like mid-October and we're still getting them in and it's been almost a month, like everyone sizes and everything. So that's one thing to check out. But that's why I think that uh, the sales are early. I think it's more because of mail issues than anything. So yeah, I will have that linked down below. And then today we're gonna be talking all about clean beauty holiday kits. So there are some good ones, but honestly, there's a lot less well, someone just emailed or text me. Sorry about that. Um, there's a lot less, that's what I was trying to say, than I thought there was going to be. And I thought that they weren't as good as they normally are. A lot of the clean at Sephora brands had some pretty good ones, like good holiday sets, but I don't know. I just don't feel like they were like amazing otherwise. And I think if you are a clean at Sephora brand, like you sign a contract that you have to do like, or be a part of a holiday kit or collection, uh, that's usually just part of it. But yeah, let's just talk about these and I will share my thoughts for the 2021 holiday sets in clean beauty. Okay, so the first one, and this is technically not like a holiday set, but I just wanted to include this, like if you're looking for something to give someone. The May Lindstrom chocolate box. So this includes deluxe samples of every May Lindstrom product. I love May Lindstrom. I love the line. It's gorgeous. It all smells amazing. It really is like a sensory experience using it. My favorite's the Honey Mud Mask. I actually used that today before I filmed this. Um... But this chocolate box set I think is like a good taste of every product and it's $70 which is not cheap I'm well aware but it's like it's cheap for it's not that it's cheap it's a good value for May Lindstrom. So yeah if you've been curious about trying all the products like I think that'd be a good one to go with. Okay and then I thought this was kind of cool it's kind of a weird design but I like it as well like in terms of what you get in it so it's the Kiara Wise the holiday collective so you get two eyeshadows in it and there's a dark brown and a light gold taupe shade and one lip tint and passionate and that's like a pinky shade and this is $45 so I thought this was kind of like a cool little set and like a another good way to try out some Kiara Wise products if you've wanted to because they're another like luxury brand and I think the price is kind of right on that. I will say, I do like their cream eyeshadows. Their normal pan eyeshadows aren't my favorite ever. They're not awful, like they're fine, but they're just not my favorite. And I haven't tried their lip tint, so I can't really speak on that. But yeah, 45 bucks for that little kit. I think it'd be a good like starter kit for someone who's like new to clean makeup or even just new to makeup. Okay, and then this is one that I was kind of interested in for gifts. So it's the Kosas Lip Fuel Snack Pack. So it's $25 and there are three lip balms in it. Two are tinted, one is clear. So what I liked about this is it looked like you could tear each one off and like gift them separately or like use them at separate times. So I thought that was cool. I thought the price was pretty decent on that as well because I think those are like... 20 bucks each normally or something around that price range. So yeah, 25 for three, pretty good. And again, good for gifting. 
Okay, so Ilya came out with a couple of pretty good sets, I thought. So for their Small Wonder set, it's $29, and their two mini mascaras, which are their volumizing one, and then their like OG mascara in the mini form, and then a small lip balm and a small lip balmy gloss. So for 29 bucks, I thought that was like decent for a taste of Illy and like to try out their different stuff. And I think that's a really good way to like see the difference between both, most, I meant both mascaras. And then Ilia After Hours set full size mascara eye tint in Fresca Gold and then their multi stick and ladybird. And these were all full size items. So if you wanna kind of like up the ante, I guess, like make it like a upgraded gift, this was $48. So I thought those were both pretty nice gift sets, both under 50, but like you get a nice taste of all the products. So I was actually interested in this. So this is the Herbivore Moment to Escape 2021 holiday set in rose. So there's a body polish and body oil in this for $40. I've really liked their rose hydrodol hydrosol. Oh, I'm just like tripping over words today. I've liked their rose hydrosol face mist. So I know that I like the scent of their rose and I think that would just be like a nice gift. Those are both full size products, by the way. And then these I actually saw in person at Nordstrom. So these are the Westman Atelier Les Petites. So it's a clean glow trio. And the one I actually would recommend is the clean glow two. So there's two options. There's the Trio 1 and the Trio 2. The Trio 1 includes a highlight blush and bronzer and they both do. The Trio 1's highlight is not my favorite highlight from them, but the 2 has a highlight that's a little bit more champagne-y in tone and I liked that more. So if I was going to get it, I'd get the 2, but I thought that was a decent actually price, $78 for three of their base products. And truly their blush is one of their best products. I think that's like one of their most known products. Their highlight and bronzer, when I swatched them at Nordstrom, like they looked really nice. So yeah, again, 78 bucks for Westman Atelier. Great way to try out some of their products. And then Fit Glow Beauty has their holiday edit. It's $99 and it includes their lip serum in tea, which is like a beigey nude shade a mascara, a full size one, an eyeliner in black, and then a luxe bronze shade, which can be used as a uh, bronzer or an eyeshadow. So uh, right now they actually have a really good deal going on where if you purchase from Fit Glow, and I'll have this in my Black Friday sale article, I think it's if you spend like $2.95 plus, you get a lip liner, you get this highlight, you get a couple of other things too. You get a full size of their face oil and then you get a full size lip serum. So that's another one like that's worth it to check out if you're like going to spend money at Ficlo this year. Okay, so Tower 28, um, they have a $22 lip gloss set that's out. So this is their Iced Latte Duo. So one's like a milky caramel shade with like gold shimmer flakes and the other one is a clear shade. So 22 lar I really am like flubbing up words today, guys. I don't know what's wrong with me. But $22 for both of them, I actually thought was a pretty good deal. Like you could either keep them both yourself, keep one, gift one, gift them both, whatever you wanted to do. But you know, takes a couple of dollars off of their lip gloss price. And then the Tata Harper set that spoke to me the most was the Mix and Mask set. So this is resurfacing, clarifying, hydrating, and purifying mask. You get all of these for $78. I will say their masks aren't my favorite thing though. My favorite is their clarifying cleanser. So the clarifying mask would be of interest to me, but I haven't loved their resurfacing mask. Their hydrating, I think I've tried and their purifying is decent as well, but clarifying I'd be most interested in. Okay, and then Eugenia Shea, which has shea butters. They're one of my favorite shea butters. I have theirs in lavender, has a bundle of four. One's unscented, one's in lavender grapefruit, or one's in lavender and one's in grapefruit. And then there's another, I believe, that's like unscented. And for these four, it's $40. I've loved this stuff. And again, I have the lavender one. I've loved it as like a hand cream. I've liked it as a lip balm. It just is like a great multi-use product. It's packaged really pretty too. So I think that's one of those things like worth it getting the four of them and like splitting them up amongst friends or like for stocking stuffers or whatever. 
Okay, and then Josh Rosebrook has a mini mask trio and it has my favorite, which is the Cacao Antioxidant Mask. It has their Advanced Hydration Mask and also their Active Enzyme Exfoliator for $75. So my favorite's the Advanced, Hy or not the Advanced Hydration, the Cacao Antioxidant Mask. It smells amazing. It smells like Christmas time to me. So yeah, that was like the one that stood out the most in my opinion. And then Hanua Skin Hair, Skin Hair. What is wrong with me? La, 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 la. I'm just gonna do some like voice things so that I don't flub up as much. But Hanua has their Paakai Cleanser, Beauty Water, Aloha Youth Serum, and their Alina Oil in a kit. These are all full size and that's $148 for the four of them. I have loved the Paakai and the Beauty Water amazing products. I haven't tried much of the Alina oil or the Youth Serum, so I can't speak on those, but those other two, really great. And then I saw on Beauty Heroes that Little Fox has a couple of sets, and Little Fox is a very underrated luxury skincare line in clean beauty. I feel like it's not talked about a lot, but their products are bomb. Like everything I've tried from them is really good. So each one of their sets was about $150. So they have a mask set, they have one that has like a balm, a mask, a toner, and a serum. The mask set looked really cool, like if you're really into like doing at home facials and stuff. And this is a luxury line, so yes, it is $150, but I believe they're like full size or like pretty large sizes too. So Free and True has a Discovery Travel set that's $68, and you get like deluxe sample sizes of each one of their skincare products. So that's not technically a holiday set, but I think it's a good way to try their products. They also have some like full size sets of various products too on their website that I saw, but I was kind of most like going towards the discovery set because it had a little bit of everything. Okay, so I saw that on Sephora's website, Merit had an essentials holiday set for $45 that includes their mascara, blush, and lip gloss. So I have only tried their mascara and blush. Don't love their blush, but I like their mascara. So kind of depends on you. Like it's decent enough product. It's not my favorite brand ever, but like some of their stuff is good. So I just wanted to mention that set. And then this is this is another one I wanted to mention, but I really haven't liked a lot of their products. So where like Merit, I've liked some things, like this brand I've liked like one thing and that's their mascara. So this is Say Beauty and this is their mini bestsellers and it includes their mascara, which is a good product, their lip balm and their highlight. I haven't tried their liquid highlight, but I've tried like everything else from the line and I just don't, it doesn't like jive with me. Like I get that their whole thing is like, skin care infused makeup, but I've been in clean beauty a long time. Like I think I've had my channel for almost five, like four and a half years at this point. Like I was into clean beauty before that. All clean beauty makeup is like skin healthy and has skincare properties to it. So that's not like that impressive to me. I expect like effective makeup and I just don't get that from them. But this gift set is $25 and it does include their mascara, which I did think was like a good one. Okay, this is one that I was kind of interested in because I did like their products and I was pleasantly surprised by them and that's Item Beauty. So they have a gift set that includes their mascara, which I've liked and a lip gloss for $24 and that's at Sephora. I thought that was like a, good set. I liked that line. I think it's really underrated and I actually think, I actually feel bad for Addison Rae. I should do a whole video about this because I think like she just gets a lot of hate that's like unwarranted and I actually thought the makeup was good from that line. I liked it more than Rose Ink. Then uh, Skylar has, or I always call it Skylar. I don't know why, but it's Skylar. Has their Vanilla Sky Perfume set. So it's $85 and I'm actually wearing this perfume today. It's my favorite Skylar fragrance. And it's $85 and you get a full size and a mini size. So I thought that was pretty good. And then I saw that St. Jane has a CBD glow set, which includes like a smaller deluxe size of their CBD facial oil and a lip gloss for $46. And this is one I'm buying. So this is the Drunk Elephant Hair and Body Kit. It includes like all uh, travel size of their hair and body collection. I'm interested in trying it all. 
I wanna see how good it is. I've tried a few of their skincare products through the years and I've honestly just purchased their skincare products when they have holiday kits just to like try them. But I'm actually interested in their shampoo and conditioner just to see if it's any good. And that kit's like $49. I'm going to purchase it because Sephora is having their best of beauty VIB thing where you get like 10 to 20% off depending. So I'm gonna get that one. So last but not least, Aether Beauty has some various sets. So some of them include like their eyeshadow palettes. One includes like an eyeshadow palette and mascara. And then they have like some trios and duos of their liquid lip. And they kind of varied in price point depending on the product, but I thought those looked kind of interesting. So I really have liked their mascara and I really have actually liked their liquid lip a lot. And their new rose quartz palette is really nice. Unfortunately, I wish that they just came out with a really simple kit that was like the mascara and the rose quartz palette because I would highly recommend that. But the palette mascara set that they have is like their other palette that has more like purple tones to it. And I just don't use those a lot. So I don't wanna recommend them. Okay, and well, I already said like the things I'd recommend, but these two I saw that they had at Sephora. So Lila B and Lawless have lip sets at Sephora as part of like the Clean at Sephora holiday kits. I wasn't that excited about them. Just I wasn't. So <laughs> let me know your thoughts down below, but I just wasn't that excited about them. So I didn't include much besides that they exist and they just kind of looked boring to me, so. Yeah. Alrighty guys, so I feel like I just sped through that, but let me know your thoughts. I'm really, really curious. Like, I just feel like the sets this year weren't that crazy. Like they exist, but I think that there is a supply chain shortage on that end of things where there just wasn't a lot of material to make these kind of kits and stuff. So I think they, a lot of brands like repurpose what they already had, which is cool and fine, but. Let me know your thoughts if you feel the same way as me or if you're like, yeah, I'm going to get that. And in a way, it's a good way to try some like skincare and makeup if you've been curious about it because it's a lot cheaper. So yeah, let me know again down below your thoughts. And thank you guys so much for stopping by the channel and watching this video. And don't forget to subscribe before you leave. I mean, especially if you made it this far, like something drew you in and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a wonderful, wonderful day or evening wherever you are in the world.